scanning. What I will tell you, today you will not receive a duplicate driver's license if you do not submit to a thumbprint. Okay, look, I feel like I'm being raped here. Well, I would sit down with you for hours and try to do what I could to help you. Then just give me my license without digitally cannot, thumb scanning. I am not going to violate UPS policy. Is there a religious exception? For your exception. Is there a religious exception? No. No, sir, there's not. Everyone must take the mark. A digitally enhanced mark. I'm not talking about mark. A digital tattoo. I know. Your, your ID, you are good to go. But yeah, well, if I'm good to go, why do you need my thumbprint? Because it's part of the procedure of it's part of Bill. It's part of Bill Clinton's law, isn't it? It's, it's an executive order. It's a decree by Bill Clinton. NCIC. NCIC. Yeah, and if I drive without a license, what's, what's the penalties for driving without a license? You know, I don't even want to go there. That's right. You know why? I'm asking it you. It doesn't pertain to it. You're an officer. I'm asking you the law. I would be glad to sit down So you're saying I'll be committing a crime by driving if I don't take your mark. I would be glad to do anything I can yeah. help you, sir. Well, see, you're saying... I'm not against you. And I understand officer you're Ard, you're, you're sitting here, Sergeant, and telling me that you're all friendly and you're all nice. But I'll be pulled over and given tickets. If I don't pay those, I will go to jail because I, because of my morals and, and my beliefs, I will not take this. And I'm here to tell you, I already took this in 93, and many people will say, well, well you've already taken it. What's your problem with it? Because now i figured out what this is, and I'm opposing all those others that are being herded in here like cattle to be thumb-scanned like criminals. Mr. Jones? Yes. We don't even need to start there. If I know that you're not going to submit to a thumbprint, why waste your time? See, right up front. They will drop, and people are being turned away all day here. So you're saying I pay my taxes, I'm raped by the IRS, which is well, criminal. You know, it's, it's well known. And you heard the key word, submit. 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 He just said I must submit. Lady down the counter. I'm telling you, I've never been to jail. I don't know. What do you want me to do for you? I want you to give me my driver's license. I want my driver's license. I am not a criminal. I may become one today, but that's fine. You're saying, you're saying you won't take me to jail at five if I'm still here. No, we're not going to take you to jail. Oh, yeah. This is against the grain of the Constitution. Look, if I don't take the mark, my right to travel is taken. You're taking my rights and telling me that it's no big deal? And now you want a urine and blood test. Bring me the, the, uh, the, the uh, document. Who has the urine and blood testing document? I need it. I'm going to pass these out to people. Ladies and gentlemen, the Federal Register, Bill Clinton, urine and blood testing plan for you. Tell your friends about it. We have got to stand against this. The states are preparing to implement this plan. This is not a joke. This is not the entire document. It gets worse. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's a joke to them. Just Only Coach Penders matters. Only diversions like Rome, the gladiators. If I don't take this, if I don't take this, will I not be penalized for not having a driver's license, by not being able to cash a check, by being given tickets that if I don't pay those tickets, I'll be taken to jail. I can't travel out of state. I can't get on board an airplane. And the media is talking about thumb scanning to travel. You're working with the foreign banks and the military industrial complex. This is all their idea. Read the military war college from 1968. They planned this. And just because you lay around doesn't mean it's not true. This is not a publicity stunt. I was a lot happier years ago before I got into all this garbage. I'm sick of sheep laying down. I wish you'd get up and do something. It makes me want to vomit. Our forefathers went to World War II and World War I and fought in the Civil War to end slavery, and it means nothing to y'all. We're a bunch of yellow belly weaklings. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of people laying down like a bunch of jellyfish and rationalizing what's going on. People ought to be ashamed of themselves. My brother's a cop. Gold star in arm and be quiet. Yes, exactly. Now look very carefully at Mike Cox. He is head public information officer for all of Texas for the DPS. They weren't going to arrest me, but about 15 minutes into the protest, he showed up and things changed dramatically. He walked up, stared at me, turned, walked back to the back, they had a little meeting together, and then they came and arrested me. If yeah, you right. leave now, I will be forced oh, to arrest you. Sir, I'm here to get a driver's license. I have never had a criminal okay. record. It, it's go. time to go. Here I go. Get my stuff for me.
makes him tough. I guess that makes him look like a real well paid mercenary there. Where's Alex? Where's Alex? Why are you doing a show tonight? Hey! Yeah, they're pushing everybody. They're pushing us. They're getting ridiculous here. How are my tax dollars paid for this bill? He's got it. The DPS was very professional, but they did the classic bait and switch. They got all the troopers on one side of the building and made us think that I was coming out there. I hope we've painted you a picture of what's really happening here in the nation. I got out of jail that night with a Class C misdemeanor, and I'm taking it to court, and I'm sure I'll defeat it with a jury trial. There's a small price to pay, though, to bring light upon the biometric technologies. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Listen up, all you preppers and survival enthusiasts. Sigma 3 Survival School has a brand new survival instructor training program that will teach you everything you need to know about survival and then license you to teach our survival programs so you can make a substantial profit from it. If you have always wanted to learn to be completely self-reliant and would like to make money at it, then check out Sigma 3 Survival School Survival Instructor Program at survivalschool.us or call 479-561-3886 today. You are now in the crosshairs. The NSA and the FBI are treating you like a criminal and monitoring your every move. Ron Paul said recently, the evidence of the totalitarian nature of this government is on display undeniably every day. What's taking place right now is a coup and the destruction of the Constitution. But a friend and patriot has discovered a loophole. Find out about the NSA loophole before they shut it down at privacylockdown.com. That's privacylockdown.com. Do you ever feel like you live in an alternate universe? As the stock market hits new highs, the middle class are dying. Manipulated financial markets and economic figures, chaos on our border, China and Russia bypassing the dollar. Life is getting ready to change. You need to prepare to thrive in the new economy. Go to babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic Organic Super Male Vitality Formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and that was Alex's report, which is now up, Digital Slave Currency. That's on the Alex Jones channel on YouTube. You can see that. Pass that around to people. And as Alex pointed out in that report, where he's talking about how they're setting up checkpoints uh, now, as he had predicted years and years ago in that very first documentary, setting up checkpoints at airports, on highways, getting people's identity. It's a point of control. That's what transportation is. It's a very important control node for the government. They always seek to control the transportation. And, of course, their uh, 
there are parallels to, as he said, being in a house arrest and uh, being taken out of the Internet with a three strikes and you're out type of policy. But you could be under house arrest literally if they shut down your ability to move around. And that was what I was talking about just before his report. And that is the coming of the computer driven government controlled cars. They like to call them self driving cars. Now we have self driving cars now. They're going to be driven by computers. And if you think they're going to be safer, then you've never experienced the blue screen of death or you've never used Google map apps or Apple map apps to know that they don't always get you where you want to go. But of course, even Ob Obama wants to cut down even that access. See, if you use that as a human, you're dangerous. So one of the ways that they're going to control, they're going to push us into this transportation control, is they're going to ban humans from being able to drive cars by high insurance rates by saying that you can't use navigation. You can only have navigation there if the computer is doing it. They'll constantly monitor where you are. They'll be able to restrict where you go, when you go. Maybe restrict your travel completely if you're somebody that they want to put under house arrest. A very dangerous thing, and it is much, much closer than you think. The beginning of this year, there were a lot of articles saying that, well, the technology is here. We've got all the major car companies with self-driving cars, but they have to have somebody sitting in the seat to take control of the steering wheel. They said the real hurdles, the real obstacles are legal obstacles. And so what we saw was in April, very quickly, the European Union, as well as, of course, California, removed these legal restrictions saying they're going to allow, starting next year, it's a race between the European car companies and the American car companies and Google as to who can produce the first, quote unquote, self-driving cars. Now, Google has put out a little clown car that doesn't have a brake pedal, doesn't have a gas pedal, doesn't have a steering wheel. You just get in it and I guess it's got a control panel where you tell it where you want to go. They've put that out as a demo. That's their vision of the future. And, of course, the other part of their vision of the future is to completely remake the economy with just a few people controlling everything, a kind of neo-feudalism. That's what I believe is behind this. It's neo-feudalism for the corporations that are in bed with the government. And, of course, the government gets to exercise complete control. I think it's kind of betrayed in the name and the quotes of the CEO from Uber when he says, we're going to get beyond the idea of individual car ownership. We're going to stop viewing cars as some hardware that is individually owned and it's going to be community controlled vehicles. It's a very dangerous thing. They're going to sell it to you as safety. They always sell you safety and security. But you know what? When you give up your freedom, when you give up your liberty, when you live in a controlled state, you're not free. They're going to make humans more dependent, more helpless, and more controlled with this transportation method. And coming in three to five years, what you're going to see is these people who are now fighting Uber because they want to have taxi cab companies or they want to have jitney companies or they're in the transportation industry, they're going to lose their jobs. It's going to be massive displacement when they start self-driving the trucks. That's something to think about. It's something to push back against. It's fine if you want to get into a limousine and have it take you around by computer, but you should not be compelled to do that. You should not be forced to do that. That's what they're going to do. Well, stay tuned because up in the next hour, we're going to have Gerald Salenti, and we're going to talk about economic trends. We're going to talk about the world hegemony trends and what's happened 11 years after Iraq. Stay with us. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. 